You know, Jacob, I gotta agree with Kevin there. I'm also looking forward to fall, but definitely, you know, still enjoying the last few really hot days of summer. Yeah, just like it says down there, mostly above normal temperatures. So summer hanging on, it's not going to be feeling like fall as we go over the next uh, seven days with above normal temperatures near 90 degrees on a couple more occasions. We were near that 90 degree mark in a couple of spots today. Storms staying at bay into Wyoming, a mostly clear sky, just a few fair weather cumulus clouds here and there. 90 degrees still in the capital. City 87 in Williston, 85 in Minot, and 86 in the Queen City. We have a northwest wind between 5 and 15 miles per hour over central and western North Dakota. The gustiest winds have backed off, but we did have some gusts earlier today between 20 and 30 miles per hour out of that northwest direction, and winds will continue to diminish as we go into the overnight time frame. But those northwest winds are also aloft in our atmosphere, and that will be bringing in some wildfire smoke from Canada over the next 48 hours. So we stay clear from any smoke in the overnight tonight, but watch what happens as we go into Monday morning. A thick plume of smoke comes into Montana and North Dakota, and that will transport down to the ground at times, even into Tuesday, likely impacting our air quality. So here's their near surface smoke, the stuff that will be impacting our air quality the most. Monday afternoon and evening is when the smoke really thickens up closer to the ground, and that really continues into Tuesday. We could be seeing widespread air quality impacts into your day on Tuesday. Otherwise, we remain clear. Not many clouds in our area for the overnight hours. Night temperatures in the 50s. Sunshine continues tomorrow. The smoke might actually impact our temperatures and lower them a bit. More seasonable for Monday, low to mid 80s. We warm up a bit on Tuesday in the middle 80s for most of us, closer to 90 degrees farther west. And then all of us in the upper 80s on Wednesday, a warmer day with a southeast wind that will be gusty, pumping in some of that heat. So Wednesday, we'll have to watch out for those strong winds coming in out of that southeast direction. Could be upwards of 40 miles per hour. So again, calm the next couple of days, relatively speaking, with the winds. But then here's Wednesday into Thursday as the system will be passing through. So the southeast winds ahead of the system. Most of the rain stays to our north and west, but we could have a shower or a thunderstorm in the overnight hours, Wednesday night and into early Thursday morning. Then as the system wraps around, we'll see the winds switch direction to be out of the west on Thursday, remaining breezy as that system still lingers in our area before things calm down to wrap up the week on Friday. So 80s to around 90 degrees. The good news is that we won't have humidity really spiking. Humidity should stay in the pleasant to a bit humid at times category, even as temperatures will be near normal to above normal on several occasions this week. Wildfire smoke Monday and Tuesday, but then breezy conditions Wednesday and Thursday as that system comes through with a couple of those showers and thunderstorms. Uh, more seasonable on Friday, but then heating right back up again next weekend, close to 90 degrees right back in those temperature <laughs> ranges. So, you know, summer not letting go. Yeah, I was going to say definitely not feeling like fall, at least for the upcoming week. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see what happens later down the road, but still above normal temperatures favored in yep. the extended. Yep, you just never know with North Dakota, <laughs> do you? All yep. right, thanks, Jacob. You're welcome.